Buddy, what just happened? Got out on your one out. Running so, inside my garage. So, see here. I, I should say, the iguana started in your backyard, and as I was chasing it, I chased it into your garage. So I, I have pipes there. I, I don't think I will be able to shoot there. I mean, we could scare outside if, if that's scare just it. as good a solution. Yeah, scare it. I, I hear it. Here to see if we can make it run that way. I just don't want it bolting back that way, but... Yeah, yeah. Move the bread, the bread, uh, the bugging, the bugging, it's behind the bugging. It it's behind here? Yeah, it's behind the bugging. Okay. All right. I could have swore. I think, uh, do this. Yeah. Remove the, the, the plastic bag. Oh, I hear it. Now it's behind the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's in the bush. It's yeah, in the bush. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it. We'll yeah. Oh, there we go. But I will go after. Well, the heat is driving them out now. Do you see it by any chance? It he probably went into the water. It went into the water by taking the bank. What's. Taking the bank. To see if you see it coming. Take the bank. Well, at least it's out of your garage. <laughs> yeah, Alfredo will be happy. Let me try this one. Let me see how. Oh, yeah. It should be fine. Come on, give me a shot. That's all I needed. Rolled it. Let's see, the other invasive. Come on, big boy. That's all I needed. Down. Here's that big male iguana right here. He popped his head up when I went to go get him, so I put a second one in him, and then I had to fish him out of the water right there. Awesome shot, awesome iguana. rolled it and that iguana was digging that burrow right there not anymore you can see way over there that's where they're getting ready to nest you see all the sand that female kicked up there's another one running on top i'm just setting up right now take a shot maybe i can get both of them dead right in the nest the, the entrance of the nest you can see all the sand they've kicked out. And that's a bank right there, and they're just undermining the entire bank by doing this. I think it'll be a bit difficult for them to get into that nest with a body blocking the door. Let me zoom in on him. Let's just make sure he's in focus here. There we go. And... Oh, instantly down, stunned him. Huh. So how many Ma, Ma, I, I, I'm still on camera, Mom. Okay. 
but I've got a lot. Oh, and you can see the exit wound right out his back. Interesting. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a lot, Ma. I've had a real fun time down here. Oh, good, good. Here's the big female that I see digging. I'm going to take her out before she can lay eggs. Rolled her. Let me see, there was. Yep. Let me focus on this one. Get back on the nest. Thinking there or base and neck. Hmm. Let's see what base and neck does. Let's see. I want to get to the brain. The brain is so tiny though. I don't want to glance off. Thinking maybe mouth. Yep, that was a good place to put that one instantly out. There we go. That, you know, a safety shot isn't always needed, but when you think you might need it, it's more humane for the animal and safer for you when you go to approach it. A second safety shot isn't always needed. When you think you might need it, it's more humane for the animal. It puts it down quicker and it's safer for you when you go to approach. You don't get all scratched up and dug up. You know, you don't want their claws on you because they, they have very sharp claws they most likely walk through their own poop and excrement salmonella and other nasty things you don't want sometimes you need three shots i've shot them three times all rounds hitting in the head and that finally put it down but let's go check this big female out that i put the second safety shot in she's right here you know now i can approach with no worries of her scratching or biting or tail whipping me like i say sometimes you need it Oh, he almost somersaulted. Let's go check them out. It's amazing how much that scope magnifies these guys. Like this stripe looked huge when I saw it through the scope. And you see just a little bit of green right there. I saw that through the scope, but this guy's kind of tiny when you get up on him. It helps to have a good optic when you're hunting these guys. This is a really tiny one. Well, he did a dance there. I think that's a purple swamp hen right there. They're a native species, they're protected. There's my Adet iguana. Well, that's a really pretty bird. It has a really pretty, pretty call too. It is like one of the last full days I've got to hunt. You know, I can keep hunting for a couple more hours, get a couple more iguanas, but I have become very best friends with Erlis, his two-year-old son. Every time I walk in the room, he just lights up, he wants to play, and we just have so much fun. And knowing I'm leaving in a few days, I'm just gonna go 
and just enjoy myself, enjoy spending some time playing hide and seek with my new best buddy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.